So these punitive measures of um, having your right to work and earn a living taken away from you if you don't choose to participate in a um, medical intervention, an unnecessary and some could argue experimental uh, medical intervention, if you don't exercise your free will and choose to take part in this um, exercise, then you have your privileges of work and the right to uh, work, privilege, right to work and earn a living removed from you. Um, now, that's for everybody here in Victoria. And there's a lot of Victorians who have exercised their free will and chosen not to take part in um, such, a, such medical interventions. And it is beginning to bite people hard. Uh, a lot of people have, are chewing through their savings uh, to keep their heads above water, uh, to keep putting food on the table, to keep paying rent. Um, so I'm making this little video for a buddy of ours, uh, the Rockno. Um, he is reaching that point now where his savings is running dry and he's beginning to become rather concerned about how he's going to keep that roof over his head and um, how he's going to, well, he's got plenty of food in the back growing, beautiful food growing in the backyard there. Um, but um, he may not be able to access that too if he can't get the rent in and keep the roof over his head, etc, etc. So... What he's doing is he's offering up a few of his um, skills um, as services for people in Melbourne. So if you if you live in Melbourne or you know somebody who lives in Melbourne um, who could use some of these services such as guitar repairs, basically any guitar servicing whatsoever, um, probably even um, guitar music lessons I'd imagine he'd be up for as well. Um, and he's got such a wonderful um, garden there. So if you're... Because a lot of people are starting to... Um, grow their own food for the first time in a long time or first time ever and may not quite know what they're doing so you've got access to people like the Rockno here who has plenty of experience and he's offering himself up as a service to consult uh, for all your gardening gardening requirements like if you don't really know what you're doing you can probably save um, save a lot of time through trial and error that just by um, asking somebody like the Rockno to come out and uh, give you a hand with all that sort of stuff so what I'll do is and if, you, if you're not in Melbourne and you want to um, lend a hand um, he has a PayPal that you may be able to sling a few bucks his way on as well um, you can buy some of his music at um, the Bandcamp website he's got links here um, I'll, I'll put this um, I'll leave a link to this video underneath where those links exist he's got them all in his description and if you've got any questions or anything like that um, or any other ways that you may be able to um, you know, um, help him out. Uh, you can access him through the comment section under that video there. So, um, yeah, so just a little shout out for our mate in Melbourne. Um, he's looking like it's going to be um, getting a bit tough for him pretty soon. So if you can help him out in any way by taking, um, taking him up on some of those services or offering those to people who may need them, hit him up for any guitar stuff at all. Um, he didn't say it on there, but I reckon he'd be able to give you guitar lessons and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, check all that out. Gardening, guitar, buy some of his music off him, or just sling him a few bob if you've got it spare. Um, I'm sure anything that you can do for him would be extremely um, well appreciated. And Well, I'd be grateful if you do, and I'm sure The Rock will certainly be grateful if you do. And say good day to him when you do it too for me, will you? Yeah, good day, Rock, no. Um, yeah, hope you're holding in there, pal. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting him. I'm going to go and meet the Rockno during later this week, or maybe on the weekend. I haven't quite decided yet. Got to consult with my sister regarding protests and all this kind of stuff. So once we know it's going on, it'll be later by this weekend, I will have met the great man, the Rockno, uh, face to face, which I look forward to. So, cheers, everyone. Thank you very much for your ear. Oh, oh, oh.